What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have yet another Russian stack sent scuttling into the hills. We have plenty of artillery, plenty of good infantry, plenty of cavalry. I think our odds are good. Let's take them out. So we have a couple of spots along the eastern flank we have to fortify and make sure that we uh, don't allow them to be picked off, picked off easily by the Russians, but apart from that, things are going pretty swimmingly. We're expanding in the Caribbean. Europe is safe. We're earning a decent amount of money per turn. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I still want to continue with my campaign of slowly building up my European holdings while expanding in the Americas, chiefly. Howitzers deploy behind the house here. Let's try... Some infantry down here on the low ground. This is a fairly natural position for artillery. So one set of guns is going to tramp forward here and unload. And probably the other two may go out here onto this high ground so my troops can advance on the right flank. There we go. Split the cavalry up. Really just want my gunners forming a grand battery. Yeah, cavalry on the flank, but I'm not bothered about that cavalry. Deploy my infantry a bit deep, running up my grenadiers. Keep my cuirassier behind the line. There, you chaps. Advance. Grenadiers and line infantry guards advance. This is my first battle of the of a recording session, so I expect to make some mistakes. Yeah, you hit my grenadiers. Big mistake. My grenadiers are more than capable enough to see off a regiment of horse. So then you chaps. Can unlimber. Maybe I might stretch this wing out just a little bit more and run them into position. Good. Okay, we've got a really good chance, actually. Push my cover up to deal with that unit of partisans, guerrilla mercenaries, same difference. Let my artillery open fire however they see fit. Actually, no. And to engage some of this infantry because we are in a position to swing down the hill. Like, have we engaged the mercenaries before they place stakes? Yeah, there we go. Chase down and destroy those irregulars. This isn't ideal. Push in the heavy cavalry. New men form a late square. Missiles go for the general. Curacier go for that regiment of horse there. You charge the infantry in the rear there. Pursue and destroy. You men both engage at the 33rd. You guys advance to maintain our line of pressure. The microphone. My, my headset's just a bit loud. Okay, so it's mostly this up here that's a bit dodgy, but once my ground is clear out in the 33rd Regiment... The garrison guards have fallen really quick. I 
destroy the 38th. One infantry unit is going to then spin around onto the 33rd regiment. You guys keep advancing. You guys can form up and advance against the 6th, 17th regiment. Warm the cavalry up on the flanks. My infantry line's looking. Okay, they broke my square, but they're falling to my muskets. Well, you're probably going to be okay, actually. Stay where you are. Going to have to charge them because they were going to—they've ran into my line anyway. Get some of my gunners to work on the 69th. You chaps work on the 13th. One of our dragoons storm into the 17th. Whoop, there come the there come the dragoons. So you men form line. All of you men, except the cavalry, form up and engage. Okay, maybe now... You guys just push up. You guys might actually be able to wipe out this unit of cavalry, which is pretty awesome. You guys seem unable and unwilling to attack this infantry unit in a way that I would like. Copious amounts of artillery fire on the hill will prevent the bulk of the enemy forces from being, from being able to mass too well. Get my dragoons out on the flank. Cassier, push the left. Keep attacking the 49th. You abandon going after that regiment. They're going after my cavalry, because that's classic AI behaviour. My grenadiers are going to storm in and bayonet them to death. And there we go. The artillery and the volleys really doing a number on the enemy. Eh, no, don't push. Deploy my, or target my guns on some new enemies. You men slam into the back of the 69th regiment. You guys knock out this Russian infantry unit. That's pretty awesome. You men go for 13th. You men go for the 73rd. Cease fire the guns. There's only three men left. Have they spread out? Yeah, they have. Okay, right. Come over here. Deal with these fellas first. There's one other guy over there somewhere. Nope, oh, completely misread that. I assumed he was over further away. Okay, someone just stabbed him in the face. Everyone else storm up against the 28th. Oh, there they go. They've had enough of that. We're going to continue. It's not going to last for very long. Actually, you're going to go for the 28th preemptively, as are you. Just because they're actually running at a slightly funky direction to go for the line, so we might actually get a 
more of these fellas. That's a lot of guys that stopped to fight there. Not bad. Not bad. Bit of a scrap. But let's see what the end result is. It's not bad. Not terrible. There's lots of cavalry kills. But some of our units have got quite badly mauled. It's another full Russian stack. Let's reinforce my garrisons to make sure they are at tip-top condition. Yep, yeah, you can try and fill the ports if you like. It's not going to stop me from garrisoning and... Well, not garrisoning, blockading your ports, Mughal Empire. We're on to you. Barbary's going to Barbary, pirates are going to pirate. Are you going to blockade one of my places? You are. You cads. Port of pay. Okay, right. Yeah, I got pirate ships. Race boat getting it. First of all, though, because this is the priority, is you take the likes of Mr. Tarba's army. Reinforce. These chaps. Reinforce. Neopold Isla. Reinforce. Good. So it's only a matter of time before the Ottomans come at us again so let's just keep building proper troops to help protect that let's drop i mean i need i need to really crank up my tax base pretty much across the board i've got you i forgot what you were actually going to be doing could push on spain because you've already got one full army down there. Let's get you to France. You will recruit some extra troops. Then you will march to the south. It's probably not a bad idea just to cap out some of these buildings that we can just... Like, that's the last... That's a complete building track. Or a complete building uh, tree. So I probably want to do that when I replenish you guys. You may well rebel. It's not the end of the world if you do. Got my agent down here somewhere. Moving up to try and assassinate you, pretty sure. Okay, let's upgrade this coaching into a boarding house. I don't want to upgrade too many of these, because you think you'll put plus nine. Entertainment and culture is plus three. I can probably afford to knock you down. Create this building here at Strasbourg. Brussels can probably stand to lose your encampment. Then we can upgrade. Oh no, before we get too mad. So my army is. It's down here, isn't it? Yes, it is. You men replenish. Go for Paramaribo. That's going to be an auto. Chomp. Let's run a native troop to Demerara to hold the port to prevent it from being destroyed. First of all, let's repair the governor's mansion. Let's build some infrastructure. It means you can't build anything else except a lumber mine. Are we building roads here? No, we aren't. So we're going to build roads here as well. So these are two very, very valuable regions. Then we're also going to take handful of ships just to go clear out this pirate stack or pirate ship which we will take into our service get back to the port new chaps replenish let's move this sloop to port of pay so then this militia can move back to the capital and may in due course do something a bit more useful 27,000 next turn, which is pretty good. Louisiana's being blockaded, which I don't quite like. Oh no, they were blockaded, but they've now... They just had their port raided. That's okay. Okay, you've been sat here for a while, Mr. Faber. Don't worry, you will push on Madrid. They're within range now, but I want to push on Madrid and have an army ready to kind of prevent someone from coming around to the east or pushing around to the north. I want to push properly. Then we've also still got Genoa under siege, which I'm actually quite happy to keep them under siege. Let's 
what I could probably do with is maybe just pushing their fleet out of port. Granted, it will damage it, but it will prevent that from being a vulnerability down the line. Ooh, probably want to take, if I can. Good. Take this militia unit out down to Syracuse. Taranto isn't building a ship either, but I can build a light galley to occupy it because I don't want that to be a useful landing pad for enemy troops either. You could do with being expanded, ready to push east against Zagreb, should the need arise. Apart from that, though, things are looking pretty good. Actually, let's make sure you're fully replenishing. Let's push these infantry out up to Mr. Merrick, because this guy doesn't need them. He's got plenty of regular infantry. He needs something more interesting, which he will get next turn. In terms of tech, one more turn till we get Light Infantry Doctrine, one more turn till we get Punch Card Loom. Once we do that, we can get on to Quick Lime. Yep, stuff has been built, that's for Darren Shaw. Ah, they are going to rebel. Yeah, that's fine. Let's hit N10. Whatever Danish rebels do emerge, they're not going to be enough to defeat our garrison. There's a real opportunity for Spain to transport a fleet against me, so I should build up a European squadron as well. Poland's going to Poland because they've got no firepower. Send your agents at me, Poland, if you like. We're the same religion. So I'm cool with that. That helps me out. You want Austria, and we'll give you, you want going to offer me Upper Louisiana, Armenia, and Serbia. No, that's a. I commend the AI for offering it, but those are a really weird mixture of territories. But it just goes to show they want Austria, but they don't want to go to war over it, which is very, very good news. Well, in the logical world, that's what it means. In the real world, they might have just. See if they can get it for a territory. And then just go, nah, we'll still fight you. Which if they do, come at me, bro. Still trying to steal my tax. Fairly confident I can just out-tech them. Ultimately, once I've taken Western Europe, we're going to push across North Africa... And we'll open up the front line to Cairo. We're reaching a point now where Europe is, well, definitely earning at a overall gain. Europe is able to support itself and then some. America is only going to bring more stuff onto the markets. You can try and push around to the south. You can try. Get involved, Sweden. Strike at the enemy. I will go deal. Ooh, darn it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought they were going to go for Turin because it's only militia guarding it. Yeah, the pirates need to die. There's no point trying to fight them. They'll just come back every turn. So, technological advances. Okay, right. So, Coburg, get on with platoon firing just to get that plus one management to rec reduce my upkeep and recruitment and plus to increase my def default training level. That's pretty awesome. Bismarck, get on with quick lime. One more turn till we get uh, lime juice anyway as well. Yeah, we just need to knock out the pirates. I'm not going to bother to fight their fleets. That's just a waste of time. Ah, that means that hit our, that hit our income, that, those devils blockading our port. Let's fully replenish. Bill Yeet. Yeet. Let's build some mines, because it doesn't mind doesn't matter whether mines are able to export anything or not. They just exist. Hop back to Europe. Yeah, everyone's still replenishing. It looks like you might get some business soon. So stay within range of the fort. 
Apart from that, my front line looks pretty secure. There are the Danish rebels, so we're probably just going to auto them because they are just a tiny, insignificant force. So then you guys are probably going to suck up the rest of our budget. Almost. A fourth rate ship over here in Portsmouth. I got plenty of ships. Too bad it lost us. Cost us a ship. One of our fourth rates. But we're going to take their fourth rate into the fleet. New men will make port in Husum. Replenish what you can. Good stuff. Blendon's got a bit of a garrison. Okay. Then, good amount of building work done. Not want to get so much building work done. This time, I wonder if it's possible. Peace out. Cool. Trade. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, good. That secured our trade income, which we'll be able to spend it better than Russia will. So then you, good sir, Rüdiger Speckbacker, you can get to work building up your artillery. <sighs> Heavy horse howitzer. Okay, right. Don't get two of them, because that's expensive, so get a regular unit. Get a unit of Freikorps cavalry. You chaps get to Paris. Probably going to pass some of this infantry off and fill it up with additional infantry. And then you're both going to go south. We're going to take Madrid, Lisbon, Gibraltar, Tangier, knock out Spain. Probably going to take Franz Lauter. You're fully replenished now as well. Let's go take Genoa, because that'll get rid of this force to the north. Granted, we're not going to be able to replenish this turn, but I think we're going to be okay. We're, we've got one army in the region that's completely footloose and fancy free. Question is, though, what do I do with it afterwards? Well, say, no, actually, they won't get rid of them. Because they've got uh, Genoa. I mean, I could just ship that other army across straight over to the island of, not Genoa, Corsica. That would be a good option. But anyway, let's not go too mad with what we may elect to do. So they've got mortars, so we want to deploy our stuff out of mortar range, except for my howitzers, because they want to have a go with Karkasha. We're going to have our grenadiers and marines going straight in, backed up by fusiliers. Actually, that's quite a lot. Let's maybe take... You guys are going to push one shoulder. You guys are going to push the other shoulder. The regulars are going to go real wide. Cavalry hold to work out precisely what we're going to do. Oh, how it's just dropping explosive shells are probably too late. But dropping a shell into the centre would be great. That's a lot of cavalry. All these devils soon deal with them. We're going to knock out some of the mortar garrison units as well. First of all, let's make our breach. Volley away. Slammed in. Oh, these are their gunners. Their gunners are doing damage to us. Hmm, they're okay where they are. Oh yeah, my general. Always forget the general. I haven't destroyed any guns. They've destroyed some of my trailing teams.
Mm, misses. I might be better off to focus on their regular infantry for now. That was a good hit. But let's speed up time because right now we are just bombarding the walls and destroying their infantry on said walls. Yeah, it's these guys are aiming at my howitzers, but now we've broken their guns. That should put a to them. Plenty more carcass shots inbound. If we can knock out this wall, we'll actually probably get one of our howitzers to start picking on the 15th, sat behind the walls because they make excellent targets because they bunch up a lot more. Except when they don't. <laughs> Not long. One more volley should do it. One more volley. One more volley after that volley. There we go. Okay, so they're redeploying. One unit attack ground in the center. Another unit pick on some of this infantry. See if the gunners can attack ground into the centre, because it can be a bit odd sometimes. Sometimes it feels like they can and sometimes they won't. Nope, just like that. Aim at the Bastion, because at least you'll still do damage. Mm, killed a couple of guys there. That should do some damage. Yes, it did. <laughs> Question is, though, it's all about... It's a big block of troops. We should thin them out. Fundamentally. Because, I mean, if we push... I mean, we'll still get in, but you think I've got a not a forced disadvantage exactly, but I'm using considerably more slots on things that aren't necessarily the most useful things to have in a city battle, such as lots of cavalry. <laughs> Boom. You overshot. It'd be ideal if we could start knocking out some of these guys, but I fear that's probably going to be a bit much. Ah, the hell with it. My regulars push up, hidden. That's a hell of a whole lot of nothing. You go for them. You guys have a bit more range. Go for something a bit more in the middle. You should be able to hit more like this. But it is sorely tempting to advance to see if we can persuade their infantry to come out of the breach. To be honest, all of my cavalry wants to go wide. Is it still sneaking? Shot slab bang in the center. Oh, your general's darn lucky to miss that. Shot coming in. Good kills, good kills. We do have the possibility to just push in. Why look at all these guys down here? 
I mean, they must have run through. They haven't. There's no way they didn't. They didn't fall. Okay, howitzers are opening up. So I probably do want my howitzers to try and keep engaging the howitzers. Try and see if we can eliminate some of their crews. Looks like it's just too far. No, oh, you got some crewmen there. As soon as the guns start firing, increase speed. Okay, so the, whichever one's further away... We're aiming at my marines, which isn't ideal. Get two units up on the wall here. Marines scale the walls. Get my irregulars to start scaling as well at speed. Force this unit to pick to pick a position. You guys hopefully should be engaging. You are engaging the third regiment. Killed some more of their gun crews, which is good. See, this is what I want to see. I'm attempting just to charge out of the breach to stop me from climbing the walls, because I don't care. I'll climb the walls, damn it. Which looks like that might be exactly what happens. I don't want to push my infantry in yet, although they are pretty knackered. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't push yet. A mass first up here before pushing onto the parapet. You men rush over the gates. So if one, this unit runs over to the gates and this unit continues to climb, should be okay. Our marines will take out the 15th regiment and secure this section of the wall. Should be able to secure this section of the wall and then some, really. Push up my Hussars and a Cuirassier unit just to sandwich this infantry unit here. Some Western European mercenaries are going to push in. Fusiliers are going to push in. New men charge the Firelock Armed Citizenry because they're going to try and push us out. Cavalry's pushing in. And to be honest, my QRC air, because they can, I'm just going to run straight past. Actually, no. Bad move. You know what is the power move? Lure their infantry into my square. They can't stop me. Oh, they're going to get me bogged down in this area.
format and fire at will into that block. Cavalry's breaking through this gate. Mercenaries push through the gate into the Firelock Arm Citizenry. Fusiliers block. Fusiliers get in. Cavalry get in. How it says keep attacking these units that could be used to reinforce. So my cavalry or some of my cavalry to go get my to get the enemy howitzers this unit run over the wall as well yeah, actually maybe fusiliers in is a bit a bit too extreme where's my other marine unit oh, okay i was getting confused by the flags You can fire well at whoever you damn well like. The mortars are being cleared out. Then we'll go after the general. Run my cavalry away from that infantry unit because my irregulars can do some damage to them. My marines are going to come charging down this uh, walkway here into the rear of the breach. only one infantryman left so let's just run one guy you men get running because chances are my fusiliers are probably a bit vulnerable so you men go after the cow general you men push on actually You may end up doing good damage against the 5th Regiment. Might even make them rout just on your lonesome. You men have orders to attack. The enemy general's been killed. Smack into the rear of the 4th. You men bear a charge into the breach, even though you're fusiliers, because... Why the hell not? Newman could potentially make the 4th Regiment break. Go on, Marines. Hit them in the rear. That man got stabbed. They're only fire lock arm citizenry, so I'm not expecting... Oh, there we go. You guys are in position, so you should... This is going to be devastating. Oh, too bad about the sound. Still blowing apart the enemy with my artillery fire. Come on, Marines. Keep on pushing. Oh, what was that? Is that what their commander looks like? That's pretty dope. Looks like a general. Hey, whoops, forgot about you fellas. You men get the joy of advancing into the center central square. So with the fusiliers, really, when they're in. I mean, yeah, I can know they're fusiliers, but there really aren't many infantry left who are going to try and defeat them. Oh, that's a great hit. So, mercenaries push out to form line against the 5th Regiment and engage them with musket fire. 
My Fusiliers can advance. Let's see if I can get my cavalry to park just on the edge. We've secured the gatehouse, so we're going to keep pushing against this concentration here. Switch my howitzers to round shot and get them to just engage whomever they like. The enemy does not appear to be aware of the risks involved with just standing still. Attack the 4th Regiment, there's only two of them left. To be honest, sufficiently so that my other units can just get on with attacking whomever they like. Shimon might attack the 7th. There you go, they've been taken out of the equation. You men form up. Artillery fire cease. Get my infantry over onto the center square. Too bad I just have Adam because this is only going to end one way. Musket fire coming in. In the breach, which I don't necessarily want. I want to attack and destroy those remaining scallywags. There we go. So now this cavalry unit can push through to annihilate the remnants of the fourth. Four men remaining. What did you call me? Hey, they killed two of my cavalrymen. That's most unsporting, but in eight seconds, it'll all be over. Nice. So that's the capital of Genoa secured. Ooh, you guys are firing at will. And they've all broken. But nevertheless, the city is taken... What I might try and do, actually, well, I doubt they will listen to me. But I wonder... Hey, Genoa. Yeah, understandably, they don't want peace. So you... I'm just going to go chase down the army of uh, militia. Yeah. Uh, is that militia? Yeah. No, oh, no, it's actually line. Come on, let's go and attack this last Genoan stack. Then we can at least be more confident that there aren't any significant armies to deal with on the continent. Then they're going to run around behind our lines and take somewhere like Strasbourg or Cologne or somewhere like that. Somewhere we don't necessarily want a bunch of enemy infantry running around. Form line, surround and engulf. Yes, your, your puny armies are futile. Now you can stay behind. Oh god, we just annihilated that cavalry unit. Down to 63 men already. Let us know if you fancy deploying into square formations. Whoop, the cavalry's charging. Make ready. Fire. These guys aren't going to be around for very long. You men push past that cavalry unit because my Prusnak horse are going to have a go.
But these poor devils, they haven't a chance. Cannibals slamming home right into the middle of their formation. Onwards, hussars! Onwards! They are broken but not defeated. Artillery engage the general to the rear. Well, no, that's all of them. Except for this regiment of horse, which has only killed nine of my chaps, and they've lost many, many horsemen. regiment has come back it is likely that more will do the same but everyone just keep on pushing I suppose general's bodyguard keep on moving you chaps can form a little firing squad at least in theory. Artillery shots are landing up, landing nearby. Yep, he's had enough. We are going to continue, you know, my Prushnek horse over here instead of chasing down cavalry. Let's just try and kill some troops. Not going to kill all of them. Let's see if we can kill lots of them. This unit of hussars is pretty darn elite. Oh yeah, I'm not going to waste my time chasing down the units that are on the other part of the map. We may as well just focus on where things are going well. And focus on these guys. My other cavalry has elected to stop. Up your gun, and then all these fellas are also going to make it. Darn right, that was a good victory. We hollowed out a Genoan force with almost no losses. Any subsequent... Uh, Auto resolve would probably do more damage than what we did then. Well, we, we will probably receive more damage for that than what we did then. You have to wonder if I can, if I'll accept it. You know, they've. <laughs> no. They want me to give them West Prussia. Good answer for peace. No. Could send you. No, I don't want to send you. You're my garrison for Venice. Cool. So, lime juice and sauerkraut finished next turn. I mean, Spain's not going to put up with an army sat in its territory forever, surely. But then again, they'll have to deal with it, because it's there. So what will the Ottomans do? Up till now, they've been suspiciously quiet. So all the way through this campaign, every you know few episodes, they elect to declare war on me, and they haven't done so for a while. But what it looks like it looks like is happening is they're going to take a long time to figure out what they're going to do. So see you in a second, guys. I'm going to chop the recording. Oh, and they're back. Back to trying to steal my tent. Actually, no, just they're not. They've left my school alone. The idiots! We've got books of loads of good stuff in there. Oh no. Don't say I've been fooled. No, there we go. I was going to say, have I been fooled by easy movements? 
That's right, Russia. Abandon the front. Leave it nice and open. I don't... Are they actually at war with Poland? It looks like they... Well, it looks like they might be because Poland is expanding. It looks like Poland is expanding. Yeah, you just raided one of my... Formerly your water wheels. Water powered cloth, mi cloth mills, I should say. They really want to protect blockading this particular port. They really are throwing all assets at it and I don't really care okay I think you guys can get there if we remove your artillery just get rid of them and get back to the guns and you guys can now catch up Good stuff. So you guys replenish and head. Get ready to head south, I guess. Because Genoa's not going to let us off that easy. Do some good economy upgrades in Italy, because Italy's a very profitable region. There we go. What's our infrastructure like? Okay. So Naples, get a craft workshop, get a weaver's cottage, and get next level on Governor's Mansion. Cool. So is Russia at war with Poland? No. I thought they were because it looked like they'd kind of expanded a bit. That might just be me misremembering. So you've got your uni units that have been recruited from somewhere. Wait a minute. Did you? Mm. For some reason in my head I thought these guys had a general. Well, I suppose not. Um, so you also got this unit of Freikorps Cavalry. You did have a general who died, didn't he? Yeah, okay, yeah. So there's an agent over here working the grounds. Yeah, God, I thought it was going crazy. Lime juice and sauerkraut, and you got straight onto Caronese. That's not bad. But it would be good. Oh, oh damn it. You're, you were on Quick Lime. Orleans. Orleans, Orleans. Get on with. Free trade doctrine. Basic roads built in our colonies in America. We still haven't got around to replenishing. There's no point driving away this pirate ship until we're ready to push. We're probably going to hop on to Martinique, depending on what they've got there. If not Antigua and Punda, because we're going to want to take out the pirates. Okay, good. You are going to go up there and try and take out that agent. Did you get him? Ah. Oh. It's going to be hard to kill him, but got to give it a go. Okay, let's... How much damage do you do? More than what I've got. Okay, let's hit end turn again. Hopefully, without needing to fight too many extra wars, we should be able to actually make some progress in recruiting more troops. Oh, and it's Ottoman shenanigans again. Just a second, guys. I'll see you in a minute. And we are back. Sp Sweden will require our attention in due course. But I think now our focus should be attacking and destroying Genoa, attacking and destroying Spain... And then there'll be two more enemies knocked out. The pirate! Look at the pirates! They really want to build a pirate fleet. I just don't care about you pirates. Sorry. Thirty-four thousand. That's a nice, good number. Actually, maybe Franz Lauter. 
you might be in a better position to take advantage of... Okay, let's take two of our militia, go to Turin, just to keep our militia together. Get our artillery. Let's go to Franz Lauter. Oh, I did mean just the artillery, but whatever, you can all come. It's the new chaps. Push down to the front. New men can recruit a general from the Curacier, Jacob Leitner. So I think I want to take four infantry out. Recruit some cool infantry. So let's go. Ooh. Late Marines, early Marines, Lifeguard of Trabarton. Unit of Engineers, Jaegers. Two units of Jaegers. I've got seven recruitment slots. So that's six units plus. Chevaux Leger, Dragoon unit. Cool, that's a nice mix. You'll be ready to rock and roll. These four units can troops can go to Paris. Get some recruit get some upgrades done on my military infrastructure to facilitate easier recruitment. Keep upgrading, you guys upgrade. To a trade port, let's upgrade your roads, let's upgrade. I'm not sure about you yet. You guys can become a craft workshop. Where's Brussels? Become a magistrate. Upgrade the farm to clearances. Let's start rolling out some port upgrades. Because port upgrades are pretty darn tasty. So this army's formed up, ready to drive down to Madrid, which is good. You're being repaired. Not super bothered about all this militia getting retrained, but why the heck not? But what I would like to see is if you guys can leave, you're down to minus eight. Can this garrison leave? Whichever infantry it was. So you joined. And you joined. So if I take these units out. Do you know, down to minus four. Because minus two, if I do that. It's not a terrible shout. Although, to be honest, you can't really do anything for a tent anyway, so that's a bit dumb. Stay where you are. You're going to replenish, then you're going to sail and take Corsica. Sardinia can wait. Although, that's the Venetian's homeland, which means if we take that, we'll be able to take Trinidad from the pirates that would result from that destruction. Cool. Apart from that, I don't think there's anything I can really do except for the Jesuit College, but I don't really care. I'm not spending that money here. Don't worry, India. We're coming for you. So I'm going to do a theatre just to make sure I don't suffer any unpleasantness from the university. Cool. Stupid Poland, Lithuania, stupid Russia, you'll never stop the Bavarian Empire, no sir. Let's see if they're going to be silly, because sometimes it has happened. They'll do, the Ottomans will have a series of turns where they're really bad, and then suddenly they'll be really good for, for a reason I don't know. But it looks like that's not this time, so see you in a second again, everyone. Huh. What a deal, all this technology for Hungary. Probably not a bad deal, actually, but I'm still not going to take it because screw you, Ottoman Empire. I'm not going to have you slowing down my game and getting away with it for free. All the scholars you've sent over here, you're probably... Well, I suppose they've actually run out of things to research. It's definitely possible. We were late to the game. We needed all of our towns for uh, financial purposes. But yeah, I think our overall... Strategy in the short term is a good one. The eastern flank is secure. The southern flank is secure. You're going to go pick up a Russian army, aren't you?
I mean, if they do could pick up another Russian army, I'd like it to go towards Sweden. <gasps> That's a Mughal stack down there, was it? I thought I saw a gold glimmer. Blockade me as much as you like, Genoa. Don't care. Tax-based economy, bruh. I might not make as much money because you're blockading me, but I'm still not making no money, which is definitely a step up. Come on, let's get going. 18,000 was the result of that blockade. So then my little fleet, just sail around and attack this fifth rate with a bunch of brigs and junk. No, I don't want the brig. Yeah, you better run. And we are going to chase you. Just to make sure they are done for. Okay, now you guys can hop back into Husum. You're going to be joined by three second rates. Because you need to start beefing up this force. Got a cool ten grand. And that's pretty good. Okay, so you men can push up to this bridge. Which means Mr. Farber can push up towards Madrid. Oh my god. They've got a weak... A very ooh, I don't like the you're in a position to go that's not cool. So maybe you guys may redeploy. Unit of Jaegers done. To try and prevent them from sneaking up the west coast here. Roads are being upgraded, upgrade the military governor's barracks. I mean, I really hate seeing hammers on the map. I really hate seeing hammers. Oh, noisy motorbike. Okay. Upgrade the ordnance factory. Upgrade the farm. Nice. Um, but I'm not doing the episode just on a random end turn. I may as well attack. Because this is a pretty... Or army to be de to be defending Madrid. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the Spanish capital. See you, everyone.